Ah, Dobra Deen, welcome back to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Aiden, your host. Today, we are looking at something very, very interesting from the people over at Thermal Take. Huh? The people have now made their water 2.0 Extreme. extreme when i mean extreme i mean extreme we are currently using these to power and cool our tanks in soviet mother russia that's right look under any of the hoods under our nice cool looking tanks and we have these inside keeping them cool so without any further ado let's hop in and let's take this box and see what's inside <laughs> Okay, like any good unboxing, we're gonna start off with the box and our Russian made. Oh, never mind. China made. China made survival knife. All right, well, anyways, with my China made survival knife, that's right. You guys can see this one. I'm gonna come at you with it. It's very long, very trusty. Slices, dices. The end comes off. Get that up so you guys can see this. The old end comes off right here, and then all of your survival goodies are inside. Pull these little bad boys out of the bag if I can. They're all sticking in there. All kinds of stuff in there. Needles, thread, matches, you know, all a good growing boy needs to survive. So I'll stick that back in there. But I think it's just pretty cool anyways. You guys do too. You guys like nice. Oh, and check it out. Compass. Yeah, baby. So no matter where I'm lost, I just look to the North Star, man, and get my little ass home. Get that back on there. Thermal take, water 2.0 extreme. I know a lot of you people out there, you guys talk shit about closed loop water stuff. For those people who are meek and they don't want to get water or anything, want to be absolute certain, there's no problem at all, at all, with using a closed loop product. Because if you're really a beginner, you don't know what you're doing, but you want to have the benefits of water cooling, a closed loop system like this one is a pretty good solution. Most people know that this is basically an Aztec remake, but it's made directly for the people at Thermal Take. Now the extreme version is made for overclocking. You can see that it's a dual rad, dual fan solution. Flip it around the back, show you guys some pictures back here. So let you guys see us, let's see if the camera can zoom in on this. This actually shows you the specifications by our written specs. You guys can see all that, you can always make your screen bigger. Put it in 1080p. Boom it up, you guys can see it. Alrighty, here is my trusty knife box. Trusty knife. This knife's actually very sharp indeed. Just gonna go ahead and take it here. Do some slicey dicies. Take all the crazy plastic off. All right, all the plastic comes off and it gets thrown at, well, the cameraman, ha ha ha! That's all with the camera, so cool, there we go. Here's the box. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing now after a bunch of joking and stuff. Then pop the unit out. Get it out here on the table. Once again, the box towards the cameraman. And kaboomy. All right. So here's everything that comes in the Water 2.0 Extreme by Thermal Tig. You guys can see everything nice and gently in here packed. We'll start off with the dual rad. Show you guys that before we bring everything out. Check that out. Dual rad solution. So I'll just pull this out first. Just given the last one. The last one I showed you all the parts. And then this. This time we'll just show you this first. So. All the fan connections are right here. Try to get those all bunched up. The power. So here go all the power and the connections. So you can see those all right here together. Here's the block underneath this little plastic thing right here. Solid copper base. Cooling stuff's already there. So you don't have to put any thermal paste on. It's already on there for you. We just pop the cap back on there. We'll try to get this all in a nice one camera shot. So you see the top of the unit, the unit itself, all that goody good stuff. Set it off to the side. We also got, obviously, the manual. We should open it up. Take a look together real quick and just make sure it's in uh, proper stuff. So it shows you all the components. Pump installation, case installation, different ways to mount it inside of your case, the different options. And then it changes to another language, so it's all right there. We also have the fan control software. 
So you'll install this on your computer and you can be able to adjust your fans, make them go higher, lower, depending on how you want them to run. Probably the higher they're going to run, the cooler it'll be. Got two fans, one for intake, one for exhaust. A couple of nice fans here. So here you guys can see the fan, the fan nomenclature. There's two of them. La da la, la da dee. Alrighty. We know that those are going to go mounted. I'll pull this out once again. Whoops. The fans have different options of how you want to mount them. You can see on each side, they have holes. So you can mount the fans either taking air away or air putting into them, depending on what your cooling solution, how you want it to work. Different systems require different needs. So get that out of the way. Last but not least, here's the mounting hardware. Now, according to these guys, this can mount any CPU that's currently out on the market, whether it be LGA 2011 or it be AM3 Plus. All the mounting hardware is in here, so whatever one you want to use, this fan will cool it, which I think is a pretty good thing. So that's about it, folks. This is a really cool product. You naysayers out there who say, oh, closed loop suck. Now, yes, compared to some of the thrilling models they've got out there by Swift Tech and HK and other people like that. Yeah, this system may be, you know, a little bit more on the lower entry level. But I have to say it's going to work better than any air cooler out there. And this thing's going to be about $139. So I think overall, this thing is actually going to be a pretty nifty product. We're going to hook up to a system. We'll let you know how cool it actually is at a future date. So I'm Melrick. We'll see you back here in Tech of Tomorrow later. Hasta la vista.